Hmm. Hmm. Okay, the alt right sucks. I'm just decided to disentangle myself from the alt right. Not that I really was entangled. But, um, because they are isolationists and that's not logical and I'm a man that likes uh, logic a lot especially politics because so much is at stake and if you are not capable of using logic then it's dangerous it's so frustrating man I was thinking but on the other hand it's really predictable of course there was no reason really to believe that the right would more had more uh, brain power than the left or more uh, responsibility that's just not really the case there's just humans with different sort of priorities but they're not smarter or more responsible or more moral or just better people because they don't give a shit about Syria they don't give a shit that the United States has since 1989 been pummeling those countries destroying them systematically even you know before even but that's now they now now people are expecting the US to just pretend like they were never there and sort of stay out of it yeah you why don't you just go into a house, rape the women, kill the men and children, and then sort of realize, oh, let's leave these people alone. Let's stay out of this house. Let's stay out of their lives. It's bad for us if we're there. <laughs> no, basically, you guys have raped the country beyond recognition, so it's kind of late to stay out. That's, that's kind of, it's really silly. Okay. Well, fuck the alt right. And uh, yeah. Also, I noticed the alt right doesn't like thought equally as the left doesn't like thought. I've on numerous occasions. Uh, I tried to join this alliance of the sticks uh, hex and hammer alliance and I've commented on all these people's videos and there's only one guy that actually responded uh, in the meantime the other guys all keep rambling off uh, the same ooh, narrative uh, about US isolationalism and uh, how Trump is gonna sort of lose votes in the next time. No, he's not. He's actually becoming a very popular president because of this. And it's, I, you know what, it's also, a lot of these arguments go, well, this guy, Paul Ryan, uh, this guy hates him and that guy hates him and these are all be bad people that hate him, that, that like what he's doing now. So this guy likes what he's doing, Clinton camp likes what he's doing. It's sort of the same, so then he's bad, right? It's sort of the same argument with, oh, the Russians like him, so he must be bad. It's the same leftist stupid argument. No, it has nothing to do with, you cannot judge a person by who likes him, especially in politics, and especially not someone who does erratic things like Trump. It's good that he gets the Democrats and all those people on board and with him because he needs that if he doesn't have that he cannot repeal Obamacare he cannot do a tax reform he can do nothing so uh, plus what he's done with the Chinese where, where the alt-right was oh no World War three um, as if that's the same thing as uh, as as uh, as what was happening under Obama but instead the Chinese just announced oh, oh okay well fuck North Korea then <laughs> He's actually doing extremely well as a war. He's like the best war president the United States has had since FDR, probably. And uh, the alt-right is just a bunch of hallucinating uh, dreamers. 
that sort of think the US is still in the in the 19th century. So I'm giving up on them. And I'm giving up on this whole idea that there's a YouTube community that, that matters. Fuck that. Trump won by his own devices. Uh, he used the mainstream media mainly to win. And the alt-right is just a bunch of uh, people making enthusiastic or angry videos that sort of have no impact because they don't uh, ev evidently they don't really compute with anyone who does not already share their views exactly like the left so these people who would have already voted for Trump it doesn't matter if they see each other's videos and get uh, you know confirmed in their beliefs it's just another stupid religion has nothing to do with politics. I don't like